found in the area around the cooperative stables clear of coppers between midnight and four tonight. Right. Can I ask why? Well, whatever it is you're going to do, don't start any fires. The uh, fire will go out and strike at midnight. That's all. You can go. I've uh, got some information you might be interested in. I have charge. An old friend of ours coming back to the city. He's uh, just passing through his eyes. Very grand these days. He's head of some secret department. The Irish desk. So, Dad will be bothering with the likes of us, eh? I'll say good night, Tom. with the fate that awaits. I demand to speak to a representative of His Majesty the King! Make your peace with God! A representative of His Majesty the King! Father, come on. No, where, where are you going? Does someone here have business with the King? Major Campbell. Bad time. I am a very busy man, Governor. In seven and a half minutes, the man in that cell is due to be hanged for murder. The murder of an Irish activist in Whitechapel. Does the case ring any bells, Major Campbell? No, Governor. I hear no bells. Since yesterday morning, he's been claiming that the murder was ordered by the British Secret Intelligence Service. That's a little late to be coming up with nonsense like that, don't you think? He was told if he kept his mouth shut, there would be a last-minute pardon, which has not materialised. Forgive me, Governor, but what business is this of mine? He says the man who hired him was an intelligence service chief of staff. An Ulsterman. Carries a cane with a wolf head handle, a bullet wound in his right leg. Oh. Still no bells. Governor, you have a very clear remit. And part of that remit is to oversee the smooth completion of execution sanctioned by the crime. And in the next four minutes, it is your duty to escort that man to the gates of hell. Is that clear? And if you should ever have a desire to discuss this matter with anyone else. I know where you live. Arthur. Tommy's called a family meeting. Arthur. He just beat the shit out of an apprentice. I'd take half a kid away in buckets. Arthur. Two thirds. His way. Oh, damn, why we're waiting patiently. 
whiskey. Left over from the explosion. It's good stuff as well. Right. 